Hello all you crafty friends, this is Debbie from Craft Soup and I'm so glad to be back with you today. It's been a couple of weeks but I'm back and we've got an exciting day today because today we're going to learn how to make these little snowflakes for my wine bottle gnome. And again, we have been learning how to put this gnome together by covering a wine bottle with a fabric and then learning how to cut fake fur and shape it. And then in the most previous video, we learned how to make the hat and stitch around it. So today we're gonna do the next step. We're coming down the home stretch and we're going to learn to make the little snowflake that sits on the side of the hat. Now on my gnomes, I only have a snowflake on one side. I don't have it on both sides, but you know, it's, it's all in what you wanna do. If you wanna put a, a snowflake on both sides, that's perfectly fine. So before we get started, let me just show you what these little snowflakes look like up close and personal. Some of them have white glitter on them, some have silver and some have gold. And then as far as the flat back jemmies, you can put any color on that you want. It just depends on how you're designing your gnome. There's a teeny, teeny, tiny little snowflake in the middle that I've glued on. And it's because if you can see on the back, there's a hole in the big snowflake and I just use the little snowflake to cover it up and then I put a little jemmy on the little snowflake and I'll go through all of that with you during the video. Now these snowflakes that I use are from the Dollar Tree and they're just under two inches from point to point, from any point to the opposite point. You can go with a snowflake that's anywhere between one and three quarters inch and probably two and a quarter inch, but I'm finding that this is the perfect size for the gnomes that I make. And they come six to a card at the Dollar Tree and you can get them in white, silver, or gold. I like to get most of mine in white. I just wanna tell you, it's disappointing because three years ago when I started making these gnomes, these snowflakes were covered with beautiful glitter, but as the time has gone by, they've gotten cheaper and cheaper, uh, not in price, but in quality. And now there's just very little glitter on here. Let me show you what they look like off of the card. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's just very little glitter on that white one. It'll especially show on the silver ones. I would never put that on a gnome. I have to re-glitter it. And sometimes they're so bad, I just go ahead and soak them in water and just take everything off and then start over. So here's what they look like with no glitter on them after I've soaked them. So anyway, that's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna start with about a two inch snowflake. These are plastic, they're not paper. The other things that you're going to need are a couple of paper plates, and I'll, I'll explain that later. Of course, you're gonna need your snowflakes. And then here are the sizes of snowflakes that you need for the middle. And when I say the middle, I'm, I'll use this blue one. The little snowflake just goes right in the middle of the big snowflake to cover up the hole. And it doesn't cover it up completely, but it, it camouflages it just enough so that nobody even cares if there's a hole behind there or not. And by the way, you will notice that there's also a hole in one of the um, points of the snowflakes. And that's because these are meant to be Christmas tree ornaments. But when we cover each point up with a flat back gem, you won't even see that hole right there. So don't worry about that. Okay, well anyway, going back to the items that you're going to need, you're going to need some little um, snowflakes or gems. These two right here are two different colors that I used to be able to get at the Dollar Tree, but they no longer sell them. But just so you can reference what you're looking for, you need to get something that's about mm, a half an inch or five eighths of an inch big to cover up that middle hole of the larger snowflake. Now, since I can't find these anymore, then of course my next place to turn is Amazon. And I was able to find these cute little snowflakes. They're resin, I'm quite sure. And they're already glittered. And uh, they are also just a little bit bigger than half an inch. I'd say they're five eighths of an inch. And they work perfectly. And I'll put the links to all of these things down in the description box below. You'll need some flat back gems. I get these on Amazon. They come on sheets 
and you get so many of them and you need seven per snowflake six for the points and then one for the middle and i believe these are six millimeter in length but again check the description box below because i'll have the exact information for you down there and then you will need some kind of adhesive for today i'm going to use the elmer's multi-purpose spray adhesive to attach the glitter to the snowflake but you could also use mod podge as an adhesive the next thing you'll need is glitter and i get all kinds of glitter but for the most part because i make so many of these gnomes i get big bottles from amazon and unfortunately the label came off of this one but i'll put the link to it below um, but this is super fine glitter and that's what i prefer it's really nice to work with on these snowflakes that we're going to make but i also work in other colors too i do make gold snowflakes so i got this at either the joanne store or at a local craft store i might have even picked this up on amazon i also do some of my snowflakes in silver sometimes i use chunkier glitter and so this one has an iridescence uh, look to it the grains of it are just slightly chunkier than the extra fine glitter that I use but you use whatever you want as a matter of fact I just want to show you that on this particular gnome I don't know if you can see it but this glitter is really super chunky and it's really effective too so you go ahead and you choose the glitter that will achieve the look that you want you really can't go wrong with any of those types of glitter okay the other thing you might need is some parchment paper because after you glitter your snowflakes you'll want a place to put them to dry so let's get this party started i'm going to get out a few small paper plates and I'm going to get out my snowflake that I'm going to work on and I'm just going to put it down here on my first paper plate and I know it's hard to see but it's it's there and I'm going to get out my spray adhesive and for today I'm going to glitter this up in gold so that you can see the outcome all right so here we go it doesn't take much spray but you do want good coverage because you want that glitter to stick okay i've sprayed it on that particular plate and now very carefully i think i'll get my little pokey tool to lift it and just help me move it over to my other plate where i'm going to glitter it up so here we go i'm just going to sprinkle glitter across it making sure i get good coverage now i don't worry about the side edges of these because it really doesn't matter what i want is the top surface glittered up and then as i lift it i'll show you how beautiful that is it's got a nice coverage on it and when it's covered with the black jemmies and the middle snowflake it'll be absolutely stunning now i'm going to put the extra glitter back this is why i move it to a second paper plate because then i can save the leftover glitter i use different paper plates for different colors of glitter because i don't want to mix the glitter together so i'm going to do another one now and i'm going to do this next one in white i'm going to lay it down on my paper plate that i'm using for spraying the adhesive on and i'm going to go ahead and spray the adhesive making sure it's covered well I'm going to transfer it very carefully over to a brand new plate and I'm going to use a little jar of my white glitter. I'm going to try to use this up. Okay, and here I go. I'm just going to, again, sprinkle the glitter on, making sure I get really good coverage. I know that's hard to see because I'm probably I was probably covering it up, but this is what it looks like before I lift it. All right, now I'm going to lift it off of there. And I'm just going to transfer it over to my parchment paper where I'm letting these dry. And I'm getting a new paper plate for silver. Now, as you can see, this is the one that was glittered in silver, but it's very poorly glittered. So I'm going to improve that. I'm going to put it on my adhesive paper plate. I'm going to spray it up. I'm going to cover it up. Oh, I forgot to move it over to my other paper plate there we go and i'm going to cover it up 
with silver glitter. And you'll see the difference it makes by re-glittering these. And because I sell these, I am really picky about how these look. I just will not sell something that doesn't look nice. I'm going to shake off the extra glitter. And now look how nice that looks. Totally covered. There's a little reflection on that that might make it look like it's not covered, but it is. It's totally covered. And that again, that'll be beautiful when it's decorated and embellished with the little flat back gems. We'll let those dry, but I've got some other ones ready for the next step. And now I want to show you how to attach the middle snowflake and how to embellish it with the little flat back gems. So I've got my glue gun heated up and ready. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little dab of glue on two opposite points of that snowflake. And then I'm just going to lay it down. And that glue, that hot glue, will attach itself very quickly to the larger snowflake. And now you can see it's sticking very nicely. And I've never had one of those come off. For the next part, I'm going to take seven of these flat back gems and they're attached with double-sided tape. And I take that double-sided tape off because it's not reliable. I do not use it to attach it to the snowflakes because it will not stand the test of time. And we're going to use hot glue to attach it to the snowflake. You might need a, I don't know what these are called, I call them a gem picker upper. There's wax at the end and it helps me to move the flat back gems from this surface over to the target surface. So I only work on three points at a time and I'm just going to put a little dab of glue on each point and don't worry if it creates a little mound of glue, it's going to be fine. And here we go. And now I'm just going to place the flat back gems on the three points that I just glued. And yes, you can see the glue around it, but in the whole scheme of things, it really doesn't matter because it the glue will dry clearly and you don't even notice it. All right, let's do three more. One, two, three. And you have to work kind of quickly because of course the, the hot glue will dry. And I just center those little flat back gems right on the on the snowflake point. And so now I've got six of them on there. Now you could leave it like this if you wanted to, and that's beautiful in itself. But I like to add one more right to the middle to finish it off. So that's how the snowflake will look when it's ready to adhere to the gnome. This is one of my favorite steps of making this gnome is to, to assemble these snowflakes. It's really fun. I like working with glitter. I like working with blingy things. And also I like doing this step. I have had a question about what I sell my gnomes for. And I will just tell you that in the past, I have sold my gnomes for $20 a piece. But this year, the faux fur went up from $20 a yard to $50 a yard and some of the fabric went up considerably too. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna sell these for yet, but just keep watching for my videos because I'm going to devote a whole video to what I charge for my gnomes at the holiday bazaars. My friends, this has been a ton of fun. I always like making my videos for you. And uh, when you can see the outcome, I hope it makes it fun for you too. If you have liked this video, please give it your thumbs up. And please, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. It would really help my channel to grow and that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm trying to reach more people all the time. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell as well so that you can get notified when I upload a new video. Check the description box below for links to all of the products. So I'll see you soon. And until then, have a great day. Bye-bye.